I saw these on AliExpress and thought, they are tiny, I must get some, and they are really very small. The PCB is barely wider than the USB-C socket and slightly shorter, it's only 10mm by 6mm. So what does it do? It's a USB-C single cell lithium battery charger. So let's have a look at the PCB and the schematic. We have the standard 5.1K resistors connected to the CC lines of the USB-C port. This tells whatever is on the other end that we want to receive power. These are really important, without them a lot of power banks just won't give you any juice. The main chip is the LP4054. This is a linear lithium ion battery charger. We've got a couple of decoupling capacitors on the 5 volt supply and another couple on the battery side of things. The programming resistor is 1.65K. This gives us around 600 milliamp hours. This matches up with what we see with the USB power meter when charging a flat battery, around 600 milliamps being drawn. As the battery charges, this does decrease. There are two indicator LEDs, a red one that indicates charging, and a green one that lights up when the battery is fully charged. This is a pretty interesting circuit. There is only one pin to indicate charge status on the IC, and this is pulled low during charging. This causes the red LED to light up and keeps the green LED unlit. When the battery is charged, it goes into high impedance. This allows current to flow through the green LED as well as the red LED. The red LED will still glow dimly, but because green LEDs are so much more efficient, the green LED lights up quite brightly. Now, one thing to be careful of is that these linear battery chargers get quite warm during charging. They need to dissipate any power that is not going into the battery, and they do this as heat. Looking at the board through my thermal camera, the temperature seems to top out at around 92 or 93 degrees, so that's not too bad, but just be careful how you arrange things. You probably don't want the battery to be sat right on top of the PCB. Anyway, it's a nice compact design, let's try and recreate it. So before we jump into PCB Way, let's do a quick shout out to the Patreons and also to PCB Way. I've got some PCBs with them right now, check out the link in the description. So I'm over in KiCad. And here's all our components. I've hidden the references because they were just getting in the way. Now, what I've done is I've imported the design rules for PCB Way, and that's also imported a whole bunch of um, standard nets. So if we look at uh, this, we've got some power nets, and if we look at the predefined sizes, we've got all of these. Now, PCB Way do recommend sticking to uh, a minimum 0.15 millimeters, so that's then 600 mil. So we'll try and do that, and we'll use larger traces for any power lines. So let's create our um, our edge cuts. So I'll go over to edge cuts, and we'll just create a quick rectangle, and then we'll set the size for this. So we want 10 by 6. So it is a pretty small PCB. So let's start arranging stuff. We'll do what they've done, and we'll flip this over to the bottom side. So let's move our USB-C connector into place. So it looks like we can place it just about about there. Um, we will chop off some of this, but that's probably okay. So what else do we need? So here's our charging IC. So let's position this in a sensible place. And then we have our two LEDs for indicating the status along with their um, current limiting resistors. So let's put these up the top, just like in the board that we have. So arrange those there. And um, this needs to, yep, so that's correct. Let's put them in the middle. And then we have their current limiting resistors. I think that's one of them. Put that there. And this is probably the other one. Yeah, so that can go there. So that's our top part of the board, pretty much arranged. Um, let's just align these so they look nice. So now we'll just do align, align to top, and then we'll just um, distribute them horizontally. Okay, so that's nicely laid out, laid out at the top. Here's our two pads for the battery. Um, now I wonder which way around we should put this IC. Let's try doing it this way around. So battery plus is on the left. So let's move our battery plus pad down to here. And then our ground pad can go over here. So that's those positioned. Now we have a bunch of components here. Let's just move them closer so we're not jumping around so much. 
So here we have various resistors. So here's one. This is the USB CC one. You can put that there. And this is decoupling capacitor for the battery. So we'll put that there. And this one, that's the other CC line for the USB. So that can go there. That's nicely arranged. Uh, here's our two 5 volt decoupling capacitors. They live over here. Now we'll move those nicely together. And then we have the programming resistor, which is this one. So that goes over there. And then we have another decoupling capacitor for the battery. So let's just stick that next to that one. So now we can just wire this up. So let's do the 5 volt first. So hopefully if I've set my nets up correctly, I should get, for the 5 volt, we should get this power 1 net class, which will be 0 point, uh, no, 0 0.3 millimeters. So that should be reasonably large, can carry a sensible amount of current. So let's go here and start doing some routing. So we'll need a, a via to come back up. That can go there. And then we'll, um, you know, we'll route from here as well. Go around the top. There we go. So that's, um, that's five volts for the power supply. Uh, let's do the battery as well. So switch to the top layer. So here's our battery. That can go there and then straight to there. And I'll just flip this around. So that's nicely wired up as well. Um, so let's do the USB. Actually, let's do these ones at the top. So these can be fairly thin. Don't carry much current. So they just go like that. And interestingly, on oh, my 5 volts, actually, so this LED is the charging one. This is the not charging. So let's actually flip those around completely. Nice, and then our 5 volt is in the right place to actually connect to our 5 volt. So let's hook up that in, and then our 5 volts, let's do a via, and then that can connect straight to there. Switch back to the top layer, let's hook up our decoupling capacitors for the 5 volts as well. So that's the decoupling done. All right, let's do our USB lines. So these CC ones need to be hooked up, so we'll have to. Use a via, drop back down, and then do the same here. So that's wired up. And uh, what's left? So we've got our five volts there. I guess with a charging indicator. So that's this one, hooks into there. Let's just wire up all the grounds so that we definitely know they're connected. So we do ground to there, ground round to there. And we'll connect to that ground to that ground, that ground to that ground, ground to there. Let's do another one round to there. And we need one from there to there. And this ground here also needs a connection. So let's do let's do that. Actually, let's make that thicker. So can we fit a 0.3 millimeter trace from this ground? Yes, we can. So that will go to a nice wire as well. Uh, maybe we can do one on the other side too. Because so I'm going to put a ground pour all over this, so we'll do that now and let's see how that comes out. So put it on the top and the bottom layers, it's gonna be ground, hit OK. Talk, talk, talk. And let's get rid of this, um, this reference, don't need that. Okay, so let's also, let's wire up these grounds explicitly. So they are all wired up. And uh, let's do big fat traces between these actually. So I'll we'll delete these. Come on, give me a big fat trace. That doesn't want it. Come on. Ah, sometimes keycad is a bit annoying. Oh, there we go. Big fat traces. Yes, that's exactly what we need. Okay, well, we need to wire these grounds up, otherwise our decoupling capacitors are not going to work. 
that's those wired up as well. So I took those there and we could put some wires in just to link together our ground planes nicely. Okay, let's run a DLC check and see if it actually would work. So run DLC for those all zones. So nothing unconnected. Um, thermal relief, thermal relief, fire diameter. I think that's a minor thing. We can fix that just in the in the setup with the wires, slightly the wrong size. Um, but apart from that, done. Let's see what it actually looks like. Let's use the 3D viewer and see if we've recreated the um, PCBs from AliExpress. And yeah, it looks pretty good. Not bad at all. So there you go. Um, pretty simple circuit, really. So here's our battery connectors. We should label those. Let's put some silk screen on. So go back here, use the um, front silk screen. Okay, what do we need to do to plus? So there's our plus. Now let's just move that over there. And we need a minus. So I'll put that over there. Minus. Okay, let's just move it out of the way of those resistors. Okay, and move it in a bit as well. And let's just adjust this one slightly. Cool. Okie dokie. You could tidy this up quite a bit. Um, we don't need all this silk screen really, um, but let's have another check and see how it looks. You know, there's our plus and our minus for the battery. Um, yeah, it's pretty neat. Not bad. I made a good effort. Not bad at all.